Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome to C Sharp Basics. I like those tutorials that you saw on YouTube, which is pretty much oriented to open this, add this, type in this, compile it, and voila, you have the program. I'm gonna I'm not gonna do it here. Uh, I'm gonna use several basic uh, things, you know, to teach you how to run some things, add it, remove it, and so on and so on. And in the future, combine it with speech recognition because these C Sharp tutorial it's gonna be pretty much oriented to a speech recognition thing. Uh, this specific tutorial we will be about how to run something using C sharp language. Now, some of you know it, some of you don't. It's pretty much uh, one line of code which runs something. So this is only to get you started from something. Let's customize this a little bit. Reason for I'm doing this is because most of you don't want to work on it by your own in a way that you want some program to be finished for you you don't want to sit down and you know what I'm gonna start doing this no matter how hard it looks no matter how hard it is I'm just gonna sit down and work on my own no most of you just want you know what hey can I have the download link please can I have the download link you know it's horrible. I mean, really horrible. Just like my professor once said, you'll never learn something if you don't sit down and do it and do it by your own. Because in the future, no one will be there for you. Pretty much left alone. I mean, not literally. It's just because you don't want to do stuff by your own. You always just want to that someone else do does them or do them. I don't know for you, which at some point is horrible. So we added two buttons, we had a background, and we uh, added a tooltip. The tooltip is one cool feature which allows you to once you go with your mouse over the icon. It will say something. So we're just gonna customize this a little bit. Since I said it's pretty much just like running things, so we're gonna add this one. And this one. Also in the button properties, see this flat appearance? And border size is set to zero, which means once uh, you run the program, it, it's a black background here. But if there's a light background, in normal circumstances, if it's set to one, you will have this little tiny black border around the button, which at some point really sucks. But you can remove it just by setting it to zero. So by scrolling down in the button one properties, you'll see tooltip on tooltip one. Since this is a Google, so we're gonna want to type Google. And this is control panel, so we're gonna write control panel. Now we're gonna add one name using namespace uh, system dot diagnostics. Before in button one properties, in button one code, if you want to run something, then you write system dot diagnostics dot process dot start, and in the brackets you will write something that program will run. But by adding this here, we we'll just write process dot start. And since this was Google, so we're gonna type this link from Google. And in the second one, since this is control panel, we're just gonna write control. What this does, it uh, tells a program to run something. In this case, will be link from uh, Google or some, I don't know, specific thing on the computer, which is like control. What is control panel? So let's run the program. Here, and when you go with your mouse over the icon, it says Google and control panel. Click it. Ignore that. 
come on come on there google.com this is really great there and this one is control panel so once you click there I again ignore that it opens up control panel this is pretty much just like those basic things which allows you to do certain processes on your computer um, in the future these basic things will be combined with speech recognition for instance I believe uh, the next one or the right after will be about how to create your own search bar and how to create it using voice so like you write just like you saw in the previous uh, past videos on how to create Jarvis where there was Google and there was a button but when you but once you type in there like Jarvis and you say search YouTube for and you will search YouTube or search Wikipedia and will search Wikipedia or Google doesn't matter uh, so yeah this was pretty much a simple tutorial just to you know get you started from something so you can work on your own even though it sounds very difficult I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a like subscribe and also leave a comment if you have some uh, ideas about what you, what would you create as speech recognition uh, program that was running something so feel free to comment anything you want about it and um, until the next tutorial guys peace